Hey guys, it's Abigail here and I want to talk to you a little bit about how I saw exercise and movement before I had a stroke compared to after and the impact that it's had on my life. So rewind to life before I had a stroke and I was very healthy, I was very fit. I really saw exercise and movement as um, an activity that had its own box that you had to set aside time for. I would go to the yoga studio for an hour and a half or the gym for an hour. And this time was my movement time outside of the rest of my life. So I had to really set aside time for that. And let's fast forward now to after I had a stroke when I had to relearn how to walk again and do physical therapy for quite a long time. And what really shifted for me was realizing that movement and exercise is something that I had to incorporate frequently throughout the day in smaller chunks. That it wasn't something that I could just set aside and do an hour a day, but it's something that I need to, needed to incorporate into how I was living my life. So I would practice balancing exercises while brushing my teeth. I would squat down on the floor more when preparing meals. I would spend more time throughout the day moving my body in little ways and I know that this had a significant impact on how quickly I recovered. Even just going on short walks, walking to pick up my son from school instead of driving, even though it was only a two minute drive, these little things incorporated into my lifestyle has made me healthier, I think, than even before I had the stroke. I'm stronger now, and while of course I'm still working through some little deficiencies that many stroke survivors have, I know that this big shift in perspective as to what movement is and how we fit it into our day has really made a big difference for me. So. Thank you for listening to my before and after story about how exercise changed for me after having a stroke. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and have a great week. Bye.